Hey Virgo, how you doing? Thanks for clicking on your weekly tarot card reading. Hope you're well. Virgo, this is a general collective reading. So, if you have Virgo highly aspected in your chart, this reading may be for you. This is a general energy, so I'm not really looking at love and romance. I'm not really looking at career and finance or interfamily or blah, 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 or your social media presence. It's, uh, how, wherever your interests are most focal at this point, these energies will be playing out through there for you. Okay, so we're looking at the general energy that's coming in for you. So if these energies resonate more for, like let's say career and finance, you've been focalized on love and romance, maybe you want to shift your attention. You can use these readings to help guide you where you're putting your attention. Because energy flows where the attention goes. Right on. So Virgo, let's tune in together. Let's ground in together. Let's take a deep cleansing breath in. We're going to breathe in everything that wishes us well in this universe. And we're going to breathe out everything that's already served its purpose with us. It's run its course. It's done its thing. And we're grateful for it. Thank you. Okay, Virgo? Let's do that right now. Let's breathe in. And then out. Sweet. Well done, my friends. I feel tapped into you. Ancestors and guides, please be with us. Bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Virgo Collective. What are the messages our Virgo Collective would most benefit from hearing now for this week? Okay. Overall theme for you, Virgo. It's a card of Virgo, the Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving, steady, reliable, dependable, trustworthy, thrifty, and brave. The Knight of Pentacles is the Boy Scout tarot. It's pretty good energy to have as an overall theme. An ace of the wands. New inspiration. Spark of passion. Very fiery energy. Fire sign energy. So that creative spark, that passion. You know what I'm talking about. I want to do this. I feel motivated and energized to do it. Whatever it is. Okay, so maybe a Knight of Pentacles energy. You're feeling that, and you're also feeling motivated to accomplish, to create, to yeah, create something new or a yeah, passion project. I don't know. King of the Cups, water sign, masculine. Um, King of Cups. Is fully aware of his emotions, their emotions. They are not governed by their emotions, they govern their emotions. That's your inside world, that's your overall theme, that's what's going on within you, Virgo. Now let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards our Virgo collective here through this week? Spirit, what's our Virgo's going to have to work with in the outside world? Queen of the Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine energy. She's intelligent, very. She's eloquent of speech, very. And she can wield the truth like a sharpened sword and cut that head off. Just saying. So you may have a you know, air sign feminine coming towards you. Eight of Pentacles. There's work coming towards you. This is a card of perfecting your craft, top of your game, being diligent and getting it done. Very Virgo energy, by the way. Eight of Wands, eight, eight, might be meaning something to you as an angel number. Eight of Wands is fast moving communication. Ooh, and you notice that the two have very similar colors to them. Very pa 
passionate, lovey, lovely colors. I love that. I love that for you, Virgo. It's fantastic. Spirit, is there any potential uh, crossing energies for Virgo this week? What Virgo should be watching out for? Careful of. Yeah, there's a tower. Something was built on a faulty foundation and it needs to come crumbling down. And the world, completion. You may not be looking for this completion, Virgo. I don't know. Tower is telling me you're hanging on to something. You're trying to not let go. Anything else we want to say around that energy spirit so we can explain it better? So our Virgos can be, you know, invibed on how to handle that? The moon. Okay, so your challenge point this week is going to be your big part of the week. Okay, this crossing energy, because you have three major arcanas. You have the tower, the world, and the moon. The moon is, you're not gonna have all the facts about it. Something is hidden or it's just blurry. Acceptance and moving through it with feeling is going to be pretty key, I think. Spirit, how do we advise our Virgos to proceed through this week with these energies? What is this advice we have? Get the facts, Virgo. Page of Swords is about doing your homework, doing the research, okay, looking into the situation, whatever the situation is for you. Google it. I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just uh, feeling kind of weird today. It's a really strange day for me. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a card of victory, of feeling victorious, of being in your energy, of yeah, I did that. She's got her hands up, she's on the stage, she's receiving accolades. This is a sensation. Five of Cups. She's not crying over the spilt cups. In fact, she's tipping one of them over with her foot. She's accepting that it's a part of the cycle of things. That some things go so other things can come in. I see that as a card of acceptance, not as a card of sorrow. Especially in this deck, the uh, Light Sears Tarot. Yeah. That's what I got for you, Virgo. This is a pretty quick reading. But this isn't the whole month ahead. It's just what's going on this week. And I hope these messages are useful and helpful for you. I do. If you would like a private one-to-one -one reading, um, I'll have my Instagram handle in the uh, description box. You can go there, copy it, paste it in the search bar on Instagram, and you can find me. Shoot me a message. Um, we'll go from there. what I got for you, Virgo. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a beautiful week. From my heart to yours, I send you love. I send you peace. See you in the future, my friends.